Good morning, Classified Collectors. That's right, you know what day it is. It's Yojo Tuesday. And today, I have a very special video to do because I have the Tiger Force, Duke, and Ram. I did receive this from somebody overseas where a small amount of them have been released. Hopefully, those of you that pre-ordered it on Target.com and Hasbro Pulse, those will start to ship very soon. Check your emails. I know emails have gone out on some of the other Tiger Force and Python Patrol figures. So double check your emails, check your spam, see if you've got an email that yours will be shipping soon. But we're going to get Duke and the Ram Cycle out of the box and we're going to take a look at them. And All right, guys, I have him out of the outer boxing and this is how he comes packaged with the Ram Cycle. I like the effect they did with the inner sleeve. It's got the Tiger Force emblem behind there he is and the cycle is tied down with those hemp line tie straps those are very easy to cut out but real quick we'll get him off of this and take a closer look at him there is a overly insanely huge accessory box i do like that uh hasbro puts the number on the accessory box and the figure's name like this one it's got duke and the ram cycle I want to see what's in this, accessory-wise, that it's insanely huge. Um, but let's get the accessories opened up. Let's get them off of their inner sleeve and take a closer look at them. I did not open a breaker and ram cycle. So, though I can tell from this one that if we start with the ram cycle, um, which is behind Duke. So, we'll just move Duke out of the way for a moment. So, I'm over there. And bring this a little closer. The It's not painted over. It's not like they took the green plastic because they had extra ram cycles laying around. They did mold this out of new materials. It may be the same mold, but the this is, is definitely yellow plastic. It's not painted over. This is yellow, yellow. I'd have to look at the original ram cycle. These are probably black on it. Um, this, I, I'm thoroughly happy with the way this looks, the colorations, did they have to do the Ram cycle? No, but in the sake of giving another vehicle, um, it's just easier to take something you already have and repaint it, which Hasbro did some features that I definitely like. I'm not a motorcycle person. I don't ride them. So if any of you out there um, ride motorcycles, please drop a comment if I say something wrong about this. Um, the details, like right here, would be I, the brake pad. Um, so it, it's not just missing things. There is a lot of details in this. Um, this grip right here, it does move. And I believe the right handle grip is the throttle. So... And I'll just do a little, we'll bring this up close so you guys can see. It does move. It is not um, fixed, like the left does not move. When you turn this, the wheel turns. When you turn the handlebars, the front wheel turns. That is really cool. So you can pose Duke or any other figure. I like this. It's a nice effect. You know, it's got the Tiger Force emblem on it. It's got the G.I. Joe on there. I like it. It looks really cool. And I think in the right setting, if you have like dioramas or you do outside photos, it's going to look even cooler in the original mold. The pants from the original are a different plastic. I like, I like the way the pants look. The top, could they might have used a different figure's upper torso? They may have been able to. Using these shin pads and making them all black and the knee pads black is a nice touch to me. Um, he's got the head articulation up, down very nicely. There is a little bit of movement in the lower neck. He has the blood butterfly joints here, bicep. This is not a pinless figure because they use the original mold. But it is a double jointed elbow. The hands will swivel around and bend inward or outward. It is a ball jointed hip. It is a double jointed knee and the ankles do go forward and back and side to side. So the articulation in a lot of these figures, it also swivels at the waist and it has a torso bend. 
a lot of the figures, the articulation is going to be identical. Um, so I'm liking it. I did not, again, I did not open the original Duke. So if I was to bring him down from the wall of figures and do a comparison, the molding and everything is going to be the same. The belt, the holster, the, the bandolier with the little G.I. Joe communicator, futuristic communicator thing on there is going to be the same. But the colorations, I like it. I think maybe doing the collar in black may have been a better option, but they did it in red. But overall, I like how this figure looks. I like how the Ram Cycle looks. Now, inside the super huge accessory box was two bags. Bag number one and bag number two. We're going to open these up and see what's inside of these. And we'll be right back once we get these open and we'll see what's inside of them. All right, so in the first bag of accessories was this. And I was wondering why this is disassembled. In the second bag was Duke's backpack, his pistol, his binoculars, and his rifle. And let me angle the camera down so you guys can get a better look at that. I know the weapons don't show up very well with the black bottom on the disc of death. Um, so I might have changed that color out. But the other thing that was packaged in the second bag with those was this. The insanely huge Gatling gun. And you take the Gatling gun and put it inside of this housing. Um, this is the confusing part for me because if you want to take this out. But you just put it together and I guess it comes apart very easily. Let's take a look. Yeah, just gently pull it apart and you can get it apart. On the back of Duke's binoculars is a little peg, and that little peg is so on the back of his waist belt. There is a hole you can plug <coughs> the binoculars into there. But all right, everyone, we have Duke in the Ram Cycle taking a quick spin on the disc of death, and that way you guys can get a better look of it overall. I am very happy with the way this turned out, uh, but this way you guys can get a look to see what he looks like sitting on the Ram Cycle. So, let's go back to if you guys want to see more great G.I. Joe classified figure reviews, please remember to click the like, share, and subscribe button. And until the next video, stay warm, stay safe, be kind, and remember Yo, Joe!